Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Board Game Edition. This week we'll be covering a soccer themed bluffing game that is on Kickstarter right now called Soccer 17. So for, starting with the rules, we're going to begin with the setup. Uh, the setup's rather easy. First you need to decide who's going to go first. So these players did rock, paper, scissors and the player over here won. So you set it up with the first half attacker side facing them marked here by the little one on the field. Um, they get the ball card, uh, indicating that they start out with zero stars. Um, you set the ball ti slash timer to mid-court with zero minutes on the clock, because you're just starting. And then each player takes their hand of four cards, uh, one of each color, uh, red, blue, yellow, and purple. And you have the chance six chance cards, the five misses and the goal card all shuffled up and put face down ready for use. And that's the setup. So the first step of each round is the play action. So each player has four cards to choose from. Um, though in, in, the, in the game, the attacker can only choose either the first three, the one, two, the pass, or the dribble. Um, they cannot actually use the tackle rebound card because rebounds the, uh, is the attack action, and that can only be done after a shot uh, on goal. Uh, so they cannot actually use the purple card in their play phase. Um, each says what they do, um, which the red indicates a shot on goal, the arrow indicates the ball moves forward one space, and the star indicates that the player gets a star on the ball, giving them a bonus when they do end up shooting, if they get the chance to. The defender, on the other hand, has an option of all four cards. They have the 1-2, or the Anticipate, which would block a 1-2 attack. They have the Block, that would block a pass attack. And they have the Press, which would block a dribble attack. They also have access to the Tackle card. And the Tackle is purple, indicating that it can block both a pass as well as a 1-2. Which is really great, but you have to be careful. Because if, you, if the defender plays the tackle while the attacker has played the dribble card, the defending player indicate, uh, incurs a penalty. And what happens when you get a penalty is you lose, you have to discard the tackle card. It goes to the discard pile. You cannot use it for the rest of the half. And the attacking player gets either a free kick if it's outside of the, uh, the defender's penalty zone, which mean, essentially means they're allowed to pick the dribble back up put any of the three cards down and take that action as if it were unblocked. But if they're in the penalty area of the defender when a penalty goes off, uh, the, they actually get a free shot on goal, which is they get to take draw four cards uh, from the chance deck trying to score a goal. Um, also, rebound the rebound card can be used to draw a fifth card off of a uh, penalty kick. So the second step, uh, the players have their cards face down that they've chosen during the play phase. Um, it's, so the second step is reveal. So they reveal their cards and to see, see if the attacker's uh, move goes off. So in this case here, the attacker played pass, the defender played block. Uh, they're both blue, so it means that the defender was successful at blocking the attack. So the ball moves to the other player, and he, he is now the attacker and the other player is now the defender. Um, and then you move on to step three. Let's say, on the other hand though, let's say that the attacker played 1-2 rather than uh, pass. So now the attacker has a red, the red 1-2 and the defender has a blue block. They do not match, so the attacker's move goes off. So he looks to the, see where the ball is on the board, it's in the middle. So he looks at the middle action on his card. And here it says he can take a shot on goal with one power or he can gain a star. Um, gaining a star means he would move it over to the one star side and he could either move it to give him a plus one to his one two attack uh, shot on goal or he can get a plus one to his pass shot on goal. Um, then if he had one star already he could gain all the way up to two stars which has one option which is just either it's a plus two to all passing shots on goal or a plus one to a one two shot on goal which becomes a plus two bonus if you're in your opponent's penalty area. Um, so he has zero stars right now, but he's going to choose the other action, which is a shot on goal. Um, for the shot on goal, 
it means you take your power, which is equal to your what's the power on the card, plus any bonus from the star card, and you draw that many cards from the chance deck that has been shuffled. Um, so in this in this action, he's going to choose the shot on goal because he's really risky and take it. And oh, he drew the goal card, so he scores a goal. Um, he moves up to one point. The ball gets moves back to midfield. Um, the defender now has the ball and has become, become the attacker, and game continues onward. Now, had he gotten a miss instead, the defender would still get the ball, but the ball would have gone to the keeper, and the keeper automatically moves it out into the first area for uh, first area that they have because there are no actions in the keep in the penalty area for a player. Um, from then, then play would continue onward with the new attacker. Um, step three is rather simple. All it is is advanced time. You take the time card and you move it one step closer in, indicating that another you've moved on to the next round. So when the advanced time action causes you to uh, go past the 45 minute mark, that's the end of the half. Um, you move the time card out. You, everyone gets their plays back. Now, you take the field card and you flip it over, showing that the other player now is the first beginning attacker in the second half. Um, so they get the ball back uh, with zero stars. You put the timer back uh, at zero minutes, and you begin the second half of the game, playing it just like the first. Uh, you go through that, and then if the if you decide to play a standard game, you end with the score that you end with, um, or you move in on to overtime if you decided to continue to play till someone wins. So overtime works pretty much exactly the same as the normal game, but instead of 45 minute halves, you do 15 minute halves. So you do what first player attacks, you get up to 15 minutes, then you switch, the other player becomes the attacker, you do your 15 minute half, and then you see if the game is still tied. If the game is not tied, the person who is in the lead is the winner. But if the game is still tied, you move into the shootout. Now the shootout has nothing to do with the board or the timer or any of that. Basically, each player takes turns uh, taking shots on goal in rounds. So every each round, each player gets one shot on goal. Um, if both players score or both players miss, uh, you continue take with take another round. If one player scores while the other player does not. Uh, you end the game. To take a shot on goal, basically it means you draw four cards from the chance deck, and uh, if one of them is goal, you score. If none of them are the goal card, then you don't score. And that's the game. Um, so I'll see you back at the Wall of Weaponry. Well, that's all for the rules. Uh, I hope to see you in our playthrough and uh, preview review videos as well. But if not, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember to Stay geeky.